Hey guys, this is Bharat Vaj with Phonorino.com and this is the Motorola Moto E that we recently unboxed. This is a budget smartphone from the company and retailing at 7000 rupees, there is not much to expect in terms of specifications. So one of them that is obviously a cost cutting measure is the 5 megapixel camera over the back. It has no autofocus, it has no LED flash and of course there is no front facing camera. But otherwise, with low expectations such as those, how is the camera performing? That's what we're going to see in the camera review of the Motorola Moto E. So as mentioned earlier, the phone has a 5 megapixel camera over the back. It's almost exactly similar to the Moto G in terms of uh, looks and placement, but does not have autofocus. That's one of the main disadvantages, but coming at this price, we can't expect much. Most of the phones coming at this price have a uh, fixed focus camera, but even though some have autofocus, they are not always good. But is Motorola's camera good? Let's start with the interface then. So opening up the camera, you can see that the interface is largely exactly the same as other Motorola devices. Even though the UI is stock, the camera app is not stock and you have the slide open interface uh, just as the Moto G. But there are some changes. There are some changes uh, with respect to, you know, the cost cutting measures. So that some obvious features have been left out. But it does have HDR, it does have panorama can record GPS uh, with geotags. Uh, so you have 16 by 9 or 4 is to 3 for pictures and then you have the video mode which is by default at 864 by 480 that is the resolution and that's uh, 16 by 9. You can choose to save in the SD card if, if you have the SD card installed otherwise you can choose to save it automatically in the phone memory that's about it. And you can control the exposure with uh, uh, this touch thing that you can move around and set the exposure but not the focus so that's how it's going to work you can like in the interface you can move your finger up and down for the digital zoom but uh, this thing that uh, you have can be used to move the exposure so for example this is kind of the spot exposure thing so that's the only thing you have with the Moto E's interface uh, you can turn the SDR on or off or leave it on auto that's one of the aspects of the interface and yeah that's about it that's about it uh, in the Motorola Moto E you can just tap the screen to take a picture and then of course tap the video button to take a video that's how it works that's about it for the interface and it, it does uh, rotate in landscape as well as uh, uh, portrait so that is the very minimal interface of the Motorola Moto E now let's talk about the camera performance this is a fixed focus camera so obviously you cannot do close-ups or even uh, take photos at a distance such as this you can see that the details are clearly blurred out and there is nothing to see here in terms of details it's completely washed out and blurred out so currently this is in the normal mode but the hdr is surprisingly really good for example you saw the photo that i previously took and now I'm going to take a photo again. Okay, that's going to be saved. Takes some time to show you the HDR photo, but as you can see, it has better colors than this. It's kind of washed out, the other one, but you can see the HDR effect doing uh, something here to enhance the colors and enhance the uh, objects in the foreground rather than the background. So that happens in the HDR mode, and we tested out each and every photo that we took. Uh, in bright light with the HDR mode. So here are some samples to tell you how good the detail is or lack thereof. So this is the photo that we took without the HDR mode but again you can see that the details are not really great. Even for a 5 megapixel photo we have seen some really great 5 megapixel cameras but uh, this is not going to get it. Even the Moto G is definitely better. But in low light, in indoors, at proper focusing distance, uh, the HDR mode takes much much better photos than the normal mode. This is the normal mode and this is the HDR mode. And so here is a straight away comparison look at normal photos and HDR photos. Now you can see the difference of all of them. So as you saw from those samples, one thing is pretty clear. 
If you are going to take photos with the Motorola Moto E, then choose the HDR mode because that produces the best results on this phone. There is no focus, you cannot take macro shots and the resolution of detail in terms of pictures in normal as well as the HDR mode is pretty much exactly the same, meaning it's poor. So don't expect details, don't expect autofocus because it's not there. But take photos with the HDR mode and uh, that could be useful, more useful than the normal mode. That's the only thing we can say. Now regarding low light, we uh, did take a photo again in HDR mode because the normal mode was uh, literally horrible in terms of uh, image quality and resolution. So this is a low light photo that we took in almost uh, pitch dark conditions. It is. It was very low light and still the HDR mode managed to make out the objects and you know resolve some sort of detail even though it was uh, completely fuzzy still pretty good for the Motorola Moto E at 7000 rupees so you're going to take that factor in pretty uh, highly that is one of the most important factors of this device it's cheap and that's why the device exists so don't expect uh, too much from the camera but again use the STR mode and you could be satisfied with the results now moving on to video, the phone can record videos at 864 by 480 resolution. That's the resolution. Uh, it's about 16 by 9. This is Bharatwaj with phoneareena.com and this is a quick video sample test of the Motorola Moto E. It cannot even record in 720p. It records at 864 by 480. It's 16 by 9. But uh, yeah, it's low resolution and the details are not so good. But it costs only 7000 rupees. So to give you just a fair idea of how it is, here's the video sample. Just walking around here. Very sunny today in Chennai. But anyway, turning around towards the sun, you can see how uh, good the dynamic range is. Pretty decent, I guess. The video was pretty good it was really good uh, in terms of rendition not much details obviously again because of the sensor the sensor is uh, apparently really really small that's what we can uh, understand from the details of the photos a lot of processing is going on similar happens in video but the video quality is actually pretty good and of course the audio quality which actually surprised us we have never seen this amount of audio quality in a phone under 8000 rupees that's pretty surprising so in terms of video quality and audio this is pretty good so in the end what i want to say is that don't expect too much from the motorola moto e camera go with the expectations that the price portrays but use the sdr mode that will enable the uh, best shots from this phone not any other mode can help you take better shots. So that's about it. Uh, well, that's our verdict on the Motorola Moto E. Let us know what you think and do let us know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Do hit the like button if you like this video and thanks for watching. This is the Motorola Moto E camera review and look forward to more content regarding the Motorola Moto E.